guys and welcome to the channel hope that you guys are having a great day uh, I am coming at you today with a blazer upload and uh, this one's going to be really cool I got a very very awesome mod for the old girl I think I finally found something uh, that's going to be perfect now uh, keep in mind guys by the way I'm sure you just saw it there uh, but we are still very much a budget build so I'm not spending anything crazy and this mod is going to be part of the budget build as well so I found this roof rack on Amazon. It's a Rolla roof rack. Uh, they're made in Australia, I believe, or at least that's where the company is was founded. Uh, a Rolla roof rack. This was only $179. And it's actually, it seems to be really high quality. The only thing is the box that, that it showed up in was, uh, well, I, I have some footage. I wanted to share with you guys, the rack for the truck has arrived. Again, I'm not sure where this footage is gonna be. So I'm sure it'll be after I announce what we're doing to the Blazer, which is a roof rack, but it showed up in this box. And uh, it, this box, like you wonder why stuff gets broken in shipping. This box looks like it went through war. This box essentially landed on the beaches of Normandy. I don't blame Rolla for the way the box showed up, by the way, I don't blame the company. I blame all the shipping companies. Oh, hell yeah, boys. Look at that. Oh, right in. The weight limit of the rack is 130 pounds, which our wheel and tire is much less than that so we should be good and it looks great and now picture that up on the roof it's gonna be freaking sweet on top of the spare tire i also have this uh, really cool jerry can it is authentic i definitely didn't steal it from the military if that's what you're thinking would never do such a thing uh but i want to put this up there as well i feel like that'd be really really cool i don't even know if i'll carry anything in it but it's gonna look sick got a little bag with some rubber sleeves in it which i'm going to assume go over the joints like right here and little screws to go with it. So I am going to have to get this thing back apart if I can. Here we got little washers, little screws. I'm sure there's a hole for it here. Looks like right there. All right, so we got that apart. It does say to use a rubber safe uh, lubricant on these to make it easier to get the rubber pieces over it. Uh, I don't have any like automotive lubricant, so I'm using uh, some gun stuff, which is just all the more American. We can't go wrong. As you can see, you kind of have to like roll the rubber back on itself in order to uh, line up the little holes there with the screws. But once you do that, put the screws in and we're almost there. We're like ready to mount. This is really easy so far. Pretty cool because normally this stuff like you buy it, it's supposed to be easy. It never is. This is actually going really well. I'm having no problems at all. The fitment's really good. Everything's going together. So I think we're in good shape. Not a bad little system. The rubber's a little bit hard to work with, but you can do it. We got our rack put together, all weather sealed up, screwed in, won't come apart. Um, I'm looking at the directions for the mounts. And it looks like you slide this over the crossbar and then it should snap into place. Thinking, sorry for the wind noise, by the way but I'm thinking it goes like this. And this goes on top of this. I'm pretty sure, guys. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. I think, let me look at the thing one more time. That piece on top, the bar underneath, the crossover piece on top, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. RF Racing. Here to help. What's up, buddy? Not much, man. I heard you had some, uh, well, not issues, but here to get stuff fixed out. I need some help, dude. Yeah, we, we're gonna do something cool. All right. Yeah, let me get a, let me get a side over here, buddy. 
So Bobby, if it falls off on that side, I'm blaming you. Alright, that's alright. Just to let just you know. Catch just to let you know. Parachute. Yeah, because this will be airborne once again. So this, this I mean, we're going to put this roof rack to the test. Oh my god. This is going to be airborne with the tire on top. Oh, absolutely, buddy. <laughs> it's not going to, it's going to be strapped down in here. It's not going to Oh, I know loose. it's not going to jump, but I mean, I just, this will be fun. Okay, so this goes, this is an interesting little setup. So this goes on top, and this like snaps into this. I think it already did. All right, and then this piece goes on top. Where'd you get this from? Uh, Amazon. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, this is like it's really high heavy duty. It was 180 like, bucks. Yeah, this is not well, 180 bucks. Yeah, you're that you're kind of spending some money there, but you yeah, think? This is, I feel like the, uh, half of them I looked at were like 600, 700 bucks. I don't know, it just feels like there's nothing, there's not too much to it that it should be that expensive, but for 180, I mean, this is still really like good. Dude, I think we're like, we're almost there, buddy. We're good to go. Yeah, this is looking good. Is it still centered? I think it is. Well, now the brackets are at least on, we can bump it around. Yeah, it's, it looks good. Everything looks good, dude. This is exciting. I'm pretty hyped about this. Yeah, this is good. It was a really easy install, by the way. Tight, dude. Yeah. Make that tight. make that tight. It's tight, dude. Tight, tight dude. It is You're tight. not screwing enough, Bobby. Oh, I screwed. Bounces. It does bit. bounce, but I think the give is all in the, I think the give is in the original rack. I don't think, our rack I think is tight. So this is rated for 130 pounds. What's your roof rack rated for? I have no idea. What's your roof rated for? I mean, I know it's I supposed no to hold idea. the weight it's of the It's gotta vehicle, be, yeah. It's gonna flex a little bit. We should be all right. I think we're good, dude. I don't think that's going anywhere. You know what, nope, it's fine. No, okay. dude, fine. it's nope, fine. It's fine. It's fine. What are you saying? It's not secure? Well, what am I saying? If it goes wrong, what does that affect me? It so, doesn't, I guess. Fine. So thanks, bud. Just lay it down. Oh, yes. Look at that. Dude. I'm, I'm pretty happy with That's that. That's epic. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's nice. I was looking up E-Tools last night. I want one for the side. You got strap Gotta make, Yeah, here. make like a bracket system for it. <laughs> yep. Holy crap, though. That looks really good, dude. I'm happy with that. The blazer. Look at it. Oh. Oh, yes. It reminds me of like a storm chase vehicle from like back in the 90s. Yeah. Tornado chaser right here. No, we are we are a piece of equipment now. We're, we have transcended just being a vehicle. The Blazer is an operator, boys. A full scale, fully fledged operator now. Look at that. Test run, boys. It really does look cool. That's exactly like what I wanted it to look like. The rack is very cool. Really good purchase. I'm very happy. So far, I'm very happy with it. Now, if it falls off, I won't be, but very affordable went together well uh only took us about really 20 minutes to install now here we go you ready well, we get in i'm on the tire truck feels way faster we're 30 seconds in so far no catastrophe it's pretty good in my book yes, nice. now we will have to execute like a sharp turn here we're gonna have to execute a sharp turn. Well, I gotta know. I gotta know. You ready? Ready? Hit it. How's it look? Dude, no, there's no movement. No movement? How's it look? We're going full, we're going full 360 here. Full 360. Yeah, we're doing good. Good? We're doing good. Can you? But I, I don't I think it's good though. Well it looks amazing. That's, That's all that matters. Good. It's all about the looks. Yeah, as long as it looks good. Gotta drive over the curb real quick. Gotta test it. Alright. You ready? Ready? Yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, Let's yeah. put the Duramax tire on top now. Oh hell no, dude. That's way over the weight limit. <laughs> Actually, it's not that far off. It's only like 10 pounds over, oh, but. God. I'm excited. The blazer is looking more and more epic by the day. I mean, we look we look official now. We got a light bar, we got a roof rack. Could be water in there, could be fuel, nobody knows, but we're we're definitely like doing something productive. Let us know what you think in the comments below as always and check out Bobby RF Racing on YouTube. You're almost to 10k. I am. Dude, so, you're getting there, buddy. He good. is getting there. Check him out. Get him to 10k. He's all he's very he's close. He's got a Mustang and a couple trucks actually. Yeah, like two trucks and a Mustang. So, I got all brands. There you Dodge, go. Chevy, he does. You got all three yeah, of the American there. brands. Moved it over here in better lighting for you, and I have to say, it really, really does look so cool. Now, of course, I will have to strap down the tire and the jerry can, but that looks so epic. Like one of those overland, I think they call them like overland camping vehicles or whatever, but 
I mean, that is really, really cool. Again, for under 200 bucks, really easy to install. I will put a link down below, not a sponsored upload, but I'll put the link down there. And uh, hell yeah. The Blazer is, like I said, looking more and more epic by the day. I freaking, I love this truck so much. Look at it, it's freaking awesome. Best freaking thing I ever heard. sitting here like enjoying the sounds guys so I'm not I'm barely even talking but I'm, I'm just enjoying it like I love it oh my god <laughs> even dark. how much was I looking like an idiot just smiling earlier you scared the crap out of two women on the side of the road and you're just hysterically laughing and they're probably like what the hell but like this guy this I'm like shaking That's how, like, it's like adrenaline I gave you a good one, right? I let off right as I was like next to your driver oh, door. Yeah, it was I was like, I literally made me jump. It's so loud. I had all my windows <laughs> Hey, up your car sounds fire. great though, by the way. Does it? Oh my God, yeah. It sounded, yeah under that, that tunnel, it sounded awesome. Good. Yeah, this thing sounds insane. I hope you, like your camera can pick it up. Yeah, I, I we'll find out. I haven't even looked at any In footage person, yet. it's unreal. <laughs> all right, boys, and here we go. Rolling up to InShane Designs. Check out the giveaway vet in the sunlight. I've never had a the 720 and the giveaway vet next to one another but we, we might have to do it today today would be a great day for it by the way of course the 2019 grand sport giveaway is now live every five dollars spent on inchaindesigns.com is an entry to win that car and we also have a really cool c6 uh, z next to it the color is epic on this i was just saying I, i've never had this and uh the 720 together for a pick definitely got to do that oh yeah Awesome. We're pretty close. Freaking awesome. So yeah, in about 30, I think it's about 32 days, I'm going to be giving one of you, no, 31 days, I'll be giving one of you guys the keys to this car. I can't freaking wait. Really counting down, man, 30 days left. It's kind of crazy. Fly by. It, it really does fly by. I mean, when we started, I think we did uh, 60, 60 something days and we're already halfway there. So uh, definitely check out the website inchaindesigns.com if you have not already lots of cool products on there tons of key tags shirts uh, All kinds of stuff for you. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. I finally got her back. I know bro. The giveaway vet looks fire The Autobahn is literally the street up so what you're gonna do is go to the end of this little street here and you'll get hit a red light make a right over the bridge then make another right and it's on the other so it's it's like literally 20 yards behind this building but you have to go over the little bridge to get over there yeah thank you appreciate it i got pansy ears this is gonna be horrible set this up bleep out your swearing Shane Shane never swears never never once uh, so we got the hats here the uh, Street Speed GS logo hat the in-chain designs hat got the American flag in neon or highlighter hat we got the tailgate kits hundreds of those printed and going out 200 of them 200 beanies okay so if you order a hoodie okay you get the first 200 first 200 yeah we'll get a free beanie. all right cool so first 200 orders of the hoodie which is on the website now First 200 orders, you get a free beanie with it. There you go. Sure. Game console skins, we got all different colors. We got the Forge Carbon, we got the flag stickers, Snow Life stickers, we got more hats and t-shirts over here. The Corvette outline, we have two different versions of the Corvette outline, this one and this one. Some shirts, we are, if you can see, this is all we have left. Um, so we had, I mean, thousands, and I know some sizes are out, but we're getting things back in stock for you. Uh, but we still have a lot next week. Uh, but we ha we do have a lot in stock still as well. The Street Speed GS logo. The Grand Sport key tags will be in next week too. And so the Grand Sport key tags, yes. I have had people asking yeah, about we that. We apologize for getting them. 
They will be shipped out. We got your order. We will get it out. Yeah, we had to have a whole new order of those. Uh, but every other key tag we do have in stock. We got uh, gray flag with the green line, gray flag with the red line, red, white, and blue, Dirty Max, Dirty Max, Dirty Max camo, dirty Street Max, Speed dirty 717. Max. Oh, look at this guy, Dirty. Oh, speaking of Dirty Max. Dirty hand Max. flag, the OD green, the gray with the blue line, got the neon flag, SS717, SS717, SS717 student driver. The truck turned out great, dude. Yeah, I love it. Epic. It is awful. You are close. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, <laughs> the deal here is the speed limit is 25. I'm sure just about every car that goes by is doing at least 30, 35. 40. And and a lot, not most, but a lot are doing 50 even. So they get people all day, no problem. That's a pretty big charge, actually. Double the speed limit if you're doing 50 and a 25. You know, that's, that's, that's a big one. Oh, he's getting him. All right. Oh, yeah. you, th you think this guy? You think this guy? Oh, oh he's flying. God. He's flying. Oh, yeah. yeah. There he goes. There he goes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best entertainment ever. He was, <laughs> he was hanging out the window. Well, there you go, guys. We got a lot done today. We did install the rack on the Blazer. I will find a solution for that jerry can soon. And uh, we had a lot of fun cop watching it chains. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload again. We are really counting down the days for the Corvette giveaway. So if you haven't entered, definitely do so now. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.